everybody, how's it going today? Thank you so much for tuning in to another video log. This is video log number four. I am so sorry that I missed a little over three weeks of video log stuff. There's been so much going on in my life and I'm gonna be excited to share that with you. If you don't tune into the stream, you've probably missed out on a lot. A lot of what you've missed out on is just that I've been super busy because obviously I lost the vehicle, as you guys are aware, it was both a blessing and a curse. A lot of it came into the fact that I just didn't have the time because I was hitching rides with folks the timing didn't work out to where I could make a video log and a top five compilation, but that's why we're doing them today. That said, I also started the keto diet recently, and that has been extremely tiring on me. However, for those of you that are unaware of what the keto diet is, it essentially is going to be a low carb, low sugar, as close to none of those two things as you could possibly get, so that you can convince your body to stop burning sugar and carbs for fuel and instead burn fat. I'm currently weighing in at about 215 pounds, and my goal is to get down to about 165. I got about 50 pounds I'd like to lose, and we're going to see how that goes, but I'm starting out with the keto diet because they say that the diet is probably the most important part, arguably, of losing weight. But without further ado, let's get into what we normally do with the channel, starting off with our praise report. Folks, I am so excited about the Lord's doing in my life. He has consistently helped me throughout these last several weeks begin to work the old man out of me. When you become a Christian, we talk about the old man versus the new. The new man is found in Jesus Christ. The old man is who you were before you found Christ. And honestly, I am so blessed that God's going, no, we aren't being that person anymore. And he has helped me through his grace and mercy to become a different person. And I've been so, so grateful and have been just praising the Lord for that for the last couple weeks. My prayer request with that is abundant provision to accomplish the goals that God's put on my heart. At this point, to summarize, it's three basic steps. I'm going to pay off my debts, I'm going to get myself a new vehicle, and then I'm actually going to invest some money in the stream. We're going to completely revamp everything. And of course, in the future, as the other goals get accomplished, we'll get more into how the stream's going to look. But for right now, I'm focused on getting my debts paid. For those of you that might feel inclined to help, five bucks ten bucks twenty bucks that's all helpful even just subscribing to the channel with twitch prime that's free to you and it helps me and just subscribing to youtube you could do so many things you don't have it doesn't have to be monetary it's just so helpful to help me accomplish those goals that god has put on my heart this week's verse of the week is found in proverbs chapter 20 verse 13 and i'll tell you why in a minute this is the new king james version i'm reading and this is what it says do not love sleep lest you come to poverty Open your eyes and you will be satisfied with bread. It kind of ties back into the abundant provision I'm asking for. I also recognize that as a man, I need to work my butt off and have an excellent work ethic to please and honor God. And I'll tell you right now, my sleep pattern has gotten in the way of me honoring God. And it comes back to that don't love sleep lest you come to poverty. I wouldn't say that I'm getting to poverty, but I'm definitely on my way if I don't curb the behavior. Now that I've opened my eyes, I have the ability to be satisfied with the bread of life, with the provision that God is willing to provide. And on this week's episode of Getting to Know Gaming for God, the question is, what is your biggest fear? My biggest fear is needles, by far. If we're talking about worldly fears, those kinds of things, which is what I'm going to answer it with, I hate like syringes. Tattoo guns don't bother me because you can't really see the needle, but I'm talking like syringes where they come and inject you or take blood out your body. I've always told people I've stolen the line from Bruce Almighty. I'm IB positive. IB positive, they ain't touching me with no needle. That's how I feel. I feel very, very strongly about my fear for needles. One last thing I'd like to mention to you guys, if you haven't already, check out the video that I released just before this one talking about the Gamers for Christ Fortnite tournament that'll be taking place on August the 11th. I'm really excited about it. I'm excited to see what God's gonna do through it. And just for a fellow group just to come together encourage each other in fellowship and in love and to push forward in just a competitive competition where we all enjoy seeing what we could do to kick each other's butts for Jesus respectfully and the very last thing I'm gonna ask you guys is that if you don't already please do not hesitate to like my Facebook page follow me on Twitter and follow me on Twitch come hang out with us on that Twitch channel I am at least live four to five times a week unless extenuating circumstances like the 4th of July come into effect i would love to see you guys there get involved with the chat and just get to know you better it's hard to do that through youtube because it's not live and i can't answer the questions you might have or just get to know you as an individual 
I want to thank you all for watching this video and just ask that God would bless your day. If you haven't already, subscribe to the YouTube channel, click on notifications, and like this video if you enjoyed. God bless you guys. Have a wonderful rest of your day.